Welcome to our captain comments section. I'm here with Sarah Bayman, captain of Northern Thunder. Sarah, you took the win by over 20 goals. What are your thoughts on the game? I think we're happiest with this game as, as we've been in the past couple of weeks. I mean, we obviously lost the two games to Surrey and then only had a couple to kind of regain our form. And we wanted to come out with a really positive statement today and I, and I think we did that. You know, we got we got 10 players on court. We we had a, had a good win and I, I think there's like a really nice feeling in the camp now. Yeah, there's a lot of changes that you made in the attack in the, in the second half in particular, bringing on those youngsters. Was that always the plan or was that something that came from how the score had gone in the I first half? I think with two games in two days, you've got to look at your bench. It's, it's going to be a, a squad that wins this rather than a, a, rather than a team of seven. So we always wanted to, to expose as many people as we could. And it was good that we were in a position that we could do that in the second half. And, you know, we're, we're really happy that when they came on, there was, there was no real change in, in our momentum. Uh, Mavericks seemed to really struggle in the first half, particularly getting the ball out of centre passes and attacking it into the circle. Was that your specific plan to close that down? Yeah, I mean, we've been working hard on our centre pass defence. We, we kind of got exposed a bit against Sui, and so we, we've, we've been trying to fix that. And, you know, it did, it did work for, in the first half, and it, it gave our back defenders stuff to come out on and ball to win. You've had um, lots and lots of turnovers going through uh, in the first half and lots of those were going down to goal. In the second half, it got a little bit more scrappy. Yeah. Is that just the nature of the game? You knew the result was there or do you think you were just trying to experiment with new I things? I think it's a combination of things. It, it is the nature of the game that, that it, it gets a little bit scrappy when you're up. But also, I think Ma Mavericks got, got tighter on us, put more physical pressure on us and, and that began to tell in the second half. So we were, we were lucky to have that cushion to, to rely on, but um, fortunately, we were able to, to pull it out as well. So what's the plan for this evening? Obviously, you're going to celebrate the win now, but then you've got to prepare for the game tomorrow, maybe Bath, maybe Surrey. Yeah. How are you going um, to do that overnight? I mean, yeah, that's what we said at the end. Like, It, it was a good win today, but it, it's less than half the job done. So we've got to recover well now. We're going to watch half of this game, um, get a feel of what's going on for, for both teams, and then go back to the hotel, get some food and, and an early night. Well, best of luck for tomorrow. Hopefully, you'll uh, put out another equally good performances today. Thank Thanks, you. Sarah. Thanks. I'm here for captain's comments with Sasha Corbin, who's the on-court captain for Hertfordshire Mavericks. Sasha, not the score you wanted from this playoff, obviously. What did you think of the performance overall? Why didn't it go your way? Um, honestly, I think we've just made too many errors um, through the court. Um, the balance wasn't really there in attack today. Um, and just, just, as I said, too many unforced errors. There was lots of turnovers that were happening in the first half, which is obviously something that's great to get the turnovers of a team like Northern Thunder, but they weren't making it through. Is that just people not linking in together? Is it the the release of the balls of technical aspects or maybe a combination of all of them? Yeah, I don't think we moved the ball enough today um, as quickly as we'd like to because the movement wasn't there. Um, but as in the last quarter, it wasn't too bad. We ended up picking it up, but it was just far too late by that time. That last five minutes of the last quarter, there seems a real lift in the intensity and all it takes is a couple of turnovers and a, a few good goals. Why do you think it came in that last last five minutes and you were lacking it earlier in the game? Yeah, I think um, one of the main changes was um, Big Thing came on the court and she was really strong in the back there and we were able to see the space quite nicely into the attack uh, defensively we kind of stepped it up a little bit but as I said it was just far too late to do anything. Obviously tomorrow you've got another game to come for the third fourth playoff not sure who that's going to go against what will be your preparation tonight in order that you can put out a better performance to them today? We're going to go right back to the drawing board and look at everything all of our unforced errors everything on, on the video analysis and we've just got to come out stronger harder because we've got to believe that we, we're not coming off this court without third place so we'll be working hard to do that. Okay, good luck tomorrow, Sasha. Hope you have a good game. Thanks. I've got with me Laura Malcolm. This is our Planet Netball Player of the Match from the first game. Laura, your first Super League playoff, how did you find it? Well, I loved it. <laughs> so, yeah. well, it's hard, everybody's out to win, so it's a tough game. You spent the first part of the game at wing defence, and you did a great job in shutting down Sasha and the Mavericks of Tank. They really seem to struggle to get it together. Do you think that's you as individuals? Is it just the way you work as a group together? Um, definitely how we're working together because if we shut her off one second something else opens up they'll give it but everybody's working for those three seconds to cut everything off so team effort there and you made the change to centre as well and that seemed to be equally as easy for you really fluent on attack and giving some good balls into the circle what do you prefer the wing defence or the centre oh <laughs> i like a bit of both i like to run a lot so centre's quite fun but you know i like both <laughs> defence and defending's the best anyway so <laughs> Okay, well done today, Laura. I thought you had a great game. Hopefully, you. uh, you'll be able to do the same performance tomorrow. Best Thank of luck. you. Thanks very much.